Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have seen how to make the HTTP request in the actions we have seen, right? Now in this video, we will try to save the data in the state management VX what we have created the auth uh, state auth module we have created, right? We will try to save that uh, whatever the response we got from the sign up request. We will try to save it in the state management. So before continuing to this video, if you are coming first time to here. Please do support me by subscribing to my channel so that I will be posting more and more front end development courses. Now, coming to this video, here if you try to see, here we are getting the response, right? And if I try to see the output here, okay, we have re removed the output. So, here let's try to check again. So, I have written some gibberish here. So, here I am clicking on sign up. I am able to get the data. Now, here I can check that response.status. So, I can check here if so I can check here if response dot status is equal is equal to 200. Okay, if it is 200 means then we need to save that data into the auth module. So let's go to store. So in the store we are having the index.js right? In in the auth module we are having index.js. Here let's try to use this one. So now if I go to the what is the response we will be getting here if we try to see the auth, auth rest API. Here is the response, right? So token. So ID token means it is the token. So let's save it as a token. So in the state, I am declaring the values token, email, user ID. That means nothing but the local ID. And uh, another one, what you will be getting. So let's try to see. So token, email, and the refresh token. Let's take this refresh token also. And another one, last but not least, that is expires in. Okay, so this one is also empty. So first time these all things will be empty. So I am taking these all things. Local ID will be the nothing but the user ID. So I am taking these all things and I am writing one new so committing for committing. I am writing in the mutations. So let's go to the mutations and here I can write export. Sorry, it is already there in the top. Here I can write. So let's go to the store concept and here I can write the constants export const set underscore user token okay underscore mutation whatever the name you want you can create so i am creating it like this so i can write here mutations so set user token or otherwise uh, not token we are setting all the user data right so right, let's write the user or otherwise token data so how much elaborate it is with that, uh, that much of uh, easiness it will be so that we will be able to understand so other developers also they will be able to understand so here is the name we have created right let's go to the mutations here and i will write set underscore user token underscore mutation i am writing set user token mutation and in this one we will take the state and the payload okay so in the payload so we will be writing this one so now what i can do is so let's take this one's payload and here where we will be where we need to send this one in the from the actions we need to send this one so now here this one underscore we can remove this underscore and i can write this context and here i need to call context dot commit okay context dot commit so what i need to commit set underscore user underscore token data mutation and we need to pass the data so what I need to pass here email first one will be the email so here I will be getting response dot data dot email and another one is the token so response dot data dot id token we have seen right and another one is the expires in expires in so response dot data dot expires in we can write like this directly and another one will be sorry refresh token right so refresh token refresh token this one will be response dot data dot refresh token and last but not least that is nothing but email we are sending token we are sending expires in we are doing and the user id user id response dot data dot local id it will be the local id the name if you try to see these all the names here you will be able to see expires in id token email refresh token and all those things i am trying to send here in the in the context set user token mutation so i can go to the mutations here 
and what I can do in the payload we will be getting the data and in this payload what I can do state dot email is equal to payload dot email I can write state dot token is equal to payload dot token and here state dot expires in expires in is equal to payload dot expires in okay and now another one is state dot user id so each one i am saving in the database sorry not in the database sorry in the state management payload dot user id last but not least so what state dot refresh token is equal to payload dot refresh token okay so this is the data we are having state.email state.token expires in refresh token these are all things we are saving now let's go and here let's try to check the data so here we got the state context.commit right set user action to data token data mutation we have seen and here if i go and if i try to refresh this one and here if i check this authentication thing so we are able to get the two types of users let's delete these all users delete account and here i will try to delete this account okay and now here if i try to see test at the rate test.com and here one two three four five six if i create this one click on sign up so we got the data okay so we got the data or not so 200 we got the data we have stored it in the successfully in the database and if i try to check here okay if i try to check in the network if i click here sign up so now we are getting status as a 400 so now it will not save so we are record and we are getting there as email underscore exist so that means we have successfully saved the data <coughs> uh, we have successfully sent the http request and we have successfully committed the thing in the state management so now here we have say, successfully committed this uh, if we are getting an error if the sign up is already existed or not, uh, not existed means so how we how we need to show the error message so let's try to see this one in the next video okay so in this video what we have seen so we have seen how to commit the data in the state management we have seen so using the mutations so we have written a new mutation state uh, set underscore user underscore to token data mutation and from the actions i am calling here and sign up dot view is responsible for making just this dot sign up and sending this one and everything the logic we are writing if you observe the logic whatever the logic we are writing we are writing everything in the actions and all those things in the store management okay you need to understand this one so how we are writing the code in the entirely into the state management okay if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you